All right, here's the killer gorilla, long-time middleweight contender, Jared Cannonier fought Israel Adesanya for the title back in the day. He was disappointed in his performance that night, but he's one of the hardest workers in the game, went back to the gym and has realized success since that fight, has strung together a couple of victories and now finds himself back on the cusp of contention. Most of the guys in this top five have been challenges that Cannonier has been able to turn back. He still, still trains at the MMA lab there under John Crouch, and he believes tonight, despite his advanced age, could be the best performance of his career. Championship belt. Yeah. Right here he is, folks. You know who he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion. This man has run roughshod through one of the deepest divisions in the UFC, and he is showing no signs of slowing down. He ain't slowing down, John. He, he loves the ability to call himself the champ. A smile is on his face every time somebody goes, hey champ, how you doing? The guy lives for it. He lives for the adulation. He lives for the applause. He lives for the ability to stay in the spotlight. He will fight to defend his title as if his life depended on it. Huge training camp for him. He feels like he has leveled up in a lot of disciplines of mixed martial arts. And man, if he presents an even better version, scary proposition for the challenge. All right, both fighters have graced the octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jared the Killer Gorilla, Kennedy. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Lee! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, so after winning the championship fight by submission his last time out, we'll see what he can produce for an encore here tonight. No denying that the opposition has better submission defense than the previous number one contender. So we'll see how this one plays out stylistically, but what a performance it was his last time out. We'll see if he can follow it up and continue with his finishing ways tonight. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight at all. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to break the fight into a closer distance. Wow, huge head kick. Fast pace here in the early going. Busy in the clinch here, the punch is good. 
Ali and try to further expose what surfaced tonight as an obvious weakness. And now some distance as they pull apart. Oh, single collar tie here. Ali's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Oh, nice. That guillotine is tight. You better protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. But if he wants to finish, he's got to lock that guard and drive his hips up into his opponent. Oh, he got out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward, then off to the side, rolled to his back to release that pressure. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Oh, that looks tight. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, he got out. He cleared his leg, got back to his back, and created some space between him and his opponent to stay out of that dark show. There it is. There's the time. For this fighter here tonight, called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after part is going to be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission. He squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, so off the record, you'd like the champion to get it done tonight, and that is how it played out, and still UFC middleweight champion. Congratulations, Arnold. It makes you feel like you know what you're talking about, when in reality, you don't. But this oh, guy makes on. me feel like a professional because it's hard to bet against him. Congratulations once again, champ. Too humble, champ. Just too <laughs> humble.
Roger, here's the world beater, Hamzat Shumayev, wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Gotta think he's gonna try to wrestle here tonight. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponents. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon. Whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills, but it's the mindset of Hamza Chimaev that I think separates him from most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Chimaev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. Hamza Chimaev ready to make another major statement here tonight. So the latest title defense arrives here and now for the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion. And prevailing wisdom is it's going to take a huge effort out of the challenger tonight to dethrone this dominant kid. Absolutely. You do not beat this guy without being on your A game. And not even just your A game is going to get it done. You have got to overachieve in order to beat this guy. This guy is firmly entrenched as the best in the world. When you look at him, you know he's the best from the way he carries himself to the confidence, to the skill set. He's the champ, and he does the tip for that to change. Seemed as though it was maybe a difficult weight cut or more difficult than once prior, but he didn't want to hear any of that noise in advance of this latest middleweight championship title defense. or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Hansa Bosch Jumaya. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight. Champion of the world, Lee. Referee Herb Great Dean fight. will handle the action ready. in the octagon. Good. All right, we're just about ready to go with this UFC championship fight. He won his last fight by submission, so that bears watching stylistically in this matchup here tonight. Can he do it again? He said, if I gotta go five, five more rounds, I'm not afraid to do so, but I was... to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. 
All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Lee. And still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion and with style points tonight. How about the best 185 pounder in the world submitting the number one contender here tonight? And I'm not sure I've seen him celebrate a win quite to the extent to which he is right now, embracing his coaches. They might even bring the family in here at one point in time. This is a huge win for the man who entered as the undisputed best and leaves that way too. Thank you. 